Ollie, go inside. I need to adjust this phone. I put my phone in my pants because I don't have a good pocket. All right. Welcome to Jackie's Motor Garage. Last week when John was off, I didn't get to go on a ride on the sports store and I was super bummed about that. I rode the Warrior, I did my live video for that, and then a ride on the CRF, which I hated. <laughs> Sorry for people who love the CRF, but I hated that thing. It was only my first time, so I'm sure that once I ride more that I'll, you know, I'll get the hang of it. But was not my cup of tea. Oh my gosh, I gotta put my windscreen down because I got a bug in my face. Alright. Oh shoot. Those people started walking right when I was gonna go! Sorry car. made a fool of myself so I've been I think that sometimes I sell myself short with writing and you know how far I've come because I have I've come a, I've come a long way I used to you know be very timid about writing I'm still pretty timid but I can go on rides by myself on the sports bar, so I'd say that's something. But I feel like when I talk to people about writing, that I sometimes I sell myself short and I say, well, yeah, if I can do it, then of course you can do it. And I think that that's the wrong attitude. And I want to set a strong, I don't know, like a female role model, I guess, for my children. And as a female writer, I don't want to say stuff like that. Or even as, as a writer in general. I mean, because this stuff takes work. And it's not just, ah, uh, dang it. It's not just, oh, if I can do it, then yeah, of course you can do it. No, if you put in the practice, if you put in the seat time and you do it, then yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna learn and you're, you're gonna progress. It's not just a, something that you're gonna pick up and be awesome at all of a sudden or just because someone else can do it, you can do it. <laughs> it's, you know, it's something that you practice, and I was going to practice some maneuvers in here. Sorry, I'm all over the place right now. Let me gather my thoughts. You know, I worked hard. I've put in time, not as much time as I would like to, but I've put in time, and I should be proud of this and this accomplishment, and I shouldn't sell myself short. This isn't easy. It's not going to be easy for anyone if you're a new if you're a new writer and you haven't done this kind of thing before. This is something that takes time and patience and practice, and you got to be safe, and you've got to have discipline and know your limits. And that's something that I've. I've come to appreciate in myself is knowing when to say no 
and knowing how far I can push things with my comfort zone and not feeling that I need to prove anything to anybody. The only thing that I need to prove, the only person that I need to prove something to is myself. Just proving that I can do this and I can rock this bike and I can learn these things and I can become a better, proficient rider. Probably the best lesson that I've learned with my riding is that this thing, this takes time and it takes patience and practice. People probably think I'm goofy that I take such long stops at the stop signs, but I like to gather my thoughts <laughs> and just kind of take in my surroundings. <laughs> So if you've seen the video of my first crash, it wasn't really a crash, I mean I, I, I lost control of the CRF and it got away from me. But that was a good lesson for me because before I had ridden the CRF, John had taken his brother his younger brother out to practice on that and to kind of do the same drills that I was going through doing a little baby wheelie with that and he picked it up so fast and he was just rocking it and so when I went out there to try that I was thinking oh my gosh this has got to be super easy and his brother did also have a crash himself and so this wasn't just, he, he was a pro, it went all completely smooth for him, but just looking at his overall progression, he progressed really fast. So that kind of gave me the wrong idea, watching him do that. And I thought, yeah, I can do this. I'm gonna rock this, no problem. First day, I'm gonna be doing wheelies. And if you've seen that video you know that's not the case and I was really frustrated and I gave up <laughs> for the day because I was so frustrated at the CRF it was I really hated it <laughs> but that taught me and reminded me that of, of how far I've come with my riding. Even though I, I still don't give the bike a ton of gas when I'm taking off, and I'm still not as far as other people would be at this, at this part in their journey. It's, you know, this is my journey. And with anything, if I want to learn stuff on the CRF, it's going to take time, it's going to take seat time, patience, practice. So I guess where I'm going with all this rambling is don't beat yourself up if you're not as far along as you would like to be with your riding or with anything in life that you're learning to do that's new. Don't compare yourself to other people that are doing that same thing. And just remember that you got to put in the time and then be proud of your accomplishments. Be proud that you were able to do that and don't sell yourself short because you did the work and you, you put in the time. It's a puddle. You guys, that was the first puddle that I've ever ridden through. Oh my gosh. I'm doing a vlog and I'm feeling awkward. I need to remind myself to not feel so awkward around people that I pass on the street because they couldn't care less what I'm doing. They don't know me and they don't care. <laughs> Turning my head. All right, if you haven't realized by now, I sing a lot of things. You know, you gotta keep things fun and entertaining for yourself in your own helmet. I probably talk to people, to myself, 
way more than I should when I'm driving. Ugh, sorry. Sorry, guy. I didn't realize you had a stop sign. All right. Let's see how fast this puppy can go. I've been stuck in the house way too long. I apologize. Whoa, I caught some air on my bum on that one. Oh, that's a stop sign. Yeah, that was a good practice for a quick break. I didn't recognize this stop because this house painted itself. Not the house painted itself. The people, oh my gosh, what's going on? Sorry, the people painted that house. It used to be gray. It threw me off. Did I? No. Am I in a different gear? Oh my gosh, that's why. I was in a different gear when I took off from a stop. There he is. My nemesis. Who learned wheelies faster than I did. Just kidding. There's my other nemesis, John from John's Moto Garage. Okay, I guess I'll park it. Alright, so if you enjoyed my super random awkward video that I was all over the place with, make sure that you subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and catch me on the next one. This has been Jackie from Jackie's Moto Garage. I need to really get out more and talk to adults. I've been talking to kids way too often, way too much. You guys, I only have my own kids to talk to most of the time, so I blame that for my weirdness. I can't get into neutral! Okay, soft as a feather. Nope. Just gentle. Woo! There we go. Alright. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one. Who does this guy think he is? I'm just joking. He's doing awesome.